So, hello and welcome to lesson 21. Which is going to be our last lesson in scientific computing too. So here we are talking about message passing and how we are going to use the MPI for Pi to do point-to-point -point communication. Okay. So this video is going to cover the following. Message passing, point-to-point -point communication, and we are going to use the MPI for Pi to do certain things. So what is message passing? So message passing is a process of explicitly sending and receiving message using point to point communication. So during the lifetime of a program, you might want to share data among processes at some point. And a standard way of doing this on distributed multiple instruction, multiple data, that's MI MD systems, and they're also the same as parallel computers, is with the message passing interface, right? So point-to-point -point communication normally follows the following procedure. So one, process A decides to send a message to process B. Okay, so before process A decides to send a message to process B, it will package all of its necessary data into a buffer for process B. And after doing that, process A indicates that the data should be sent to process B by calling the send function. Then process, before process B can receive the data, it needs to acknowledge that it wants to receive it. So process B does this by calling the receive function okay so this is the diagram of the message passing process so um process a wants to send data to process b so what process a does is that it will take all that data and put it in the buffer so that's what you can see here then it will indicate that it wants to send it to process b by calling the send function so when it does that, then process B will indicate that it wants to receive it by using the receive function. So after doing that, then the process or the data in process A moves from this place to that place. So it is received by process B. So this is a diagram to explain what we just discussed. Okay. So this is a message passing procedure. So when an MPI program you know, MPI means message passing interface. So when an MPI program is started, each process is assigned a unique integer starting from zero. So the rank helps in identifying each process and we sometimes refer to the process with rank N simply as process N. So MPI arranges processes into collections known as communicators, indicating which processes can send or receive messages. And the MPI.com world communicator contains all the processes in the MPI program, right? So once we have access to a communicator, we can use the get size function to return the total number of processes contained in the communicator. We can also use the get rank to return the rank of the calling process within the communicator. Okay. All right. So now we are going to do some practice with the MPI for Pi to let you understand what we're talking about. Okay. So before we do that, please make sure you have you have MPI for Pi installed. Okay. So that you can also practice what we do. So you can install this on either the Linux or Windows operating system by so for instance when you are using the Linux operating system you can open your terminal right and type pip install mpi for pi if you are also using Windows you can open your command prompt or Windows PowerShell or anything else and type pip install mpi for pi so if 
pip install mpi for pi doesn't work and you have um, an anaconda environment you can use conda install mpi for pi okay so if this tool doesn't work for you then you will have to go to the internet and do more search to get mpi for pi okay so now example one what we are going to do is that we are just going to you know get our communicators and get the size of the communicator and also get the rank of the communicator so mostly the rank refers to redundant processes okay so from mpi for pi i'm going to import mpi that message passing interface then i'll have to call the communicator world right the communicator so we do that by saying so this is an assignment then we do that by saying mpi.com world right so now we have the communicators inside the variable com so if you want to get the size in the communicators then it is size equals com dot get size then if you want to get the rank com dot get rank right then we print the size and the rank so if we should run this so this i have this thing here right so if we should run this realize that it tells us that the size is one and the rank is zero okay all right so that's it with this one then let's go to example two so with example two we are just calling you know we understand this line so from mpi for pi we import mpi right then we know that to get the rank rank equals mpi.com or don't get rank okay so we just want to do something so the a is six and b is three they are just variables so if the rank is zero they want our program to print a plus b if the rank is one we want it to print a times b if the rank is two, you want it to print the maximum of A and B, right? So that means that if the rank is zero, we are going to get the input to be nine. If it is one, we are going to get the input to be 18. And if it is two, we are going to get the input to be six. So I have that here. And if I should run this, you realize that I had nine here. So that means that the rank is zero, okay? right then so example three we are going to use that to do point-to-point -point communication okay so that's when you want to send data from one process to the other right so the same thing we always import mpi for pi from from mpi for pi we always import mpi then i'm going to use the numpy right so i import numpy then i have to get my communicator so come is equal to mpi.com world right to get our communicators then we get the rank of it so after getting the rank then we said if rank equals zero then this is the data so the data is equal to numpy.arrange blah 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 so this can be any data you want to send so if the rank is zero then send this data to destination one so what this means is that send this to um a process which has a rank of one and the tag should be 13 then if the rank is equal to one then let it receive the data okay from source zero okay that's the source with rank zero so this is what it means so if we are to run this right what it does is that if a process has a rank of zero then it's going to um send this data right then to it's going to send this data to um a process which has a rank of one right then it will be received right so um let's look at explanation of the com function so for instance when it comes to the com dot send right so you always have the data you want to send that's the buffer then the destination right 
So we're mostly saying it to the destination which um, has a rank of sometimes one or something like that. Then there's the tag. So the com is the communicator you wish to query. Then the boof is the data we wish to send. Then the dest is the rank of the destination process and the tag is a tag on your message. Then when it comes to the com dot receive to the com is a communicator you wish to query um, query. The buff is the data you wish to send. The source is the rank of the source process. A tag on your message and the status of the object. Okay. All right. So one last thing. You can also run your script all right, with MPI using the MPI exec. Right? So most MPI programs can be run with the command MPI exec. So in practice, running Python programs looks like so when you are using Python, when you are using the MPI exec to run your script, this is how it is. So you first have to call the command MPI exec, then minus N. Then you indicate any number here. So the number you indicate here is the number of processes you want to. So here we are indicating four. Then Python, then the script name dot py, right? So because you are using four here, this is going to run a program with four processes. So let me illustrate that here. So you could see that I have a So I have a Python script called mpi.py and I want to run this with four processes. So I first have to start with mpi exec, then minus n, then the number of processes I want the program, I want it to run a program, then Python, then the name of the script, right, mpi.py. So if I should run this, you see that it run it with for processes then I get this result so with rank 2 the size is 4 with rank 0 the size is 4 with rank 1 the size is 4 and with rank 3 the size is 4 to 1 so um, I can change the number of process to let's say 10 and if I run it so you can see the outputs okay all right so uh, thank you very much and that's going to be all for this video so i wish you all the best in your upcoming examination all the best